Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'm going to be showing you how to use .env files in Node.js. Okay, so first I want to take you through uh, what these .env files are and why you should use them. Okay, so right here I prepared a list earlier going over a couple of things. So the first question is um, what exactly is a .env file? Well, basically you can use a .env file to store uh, environment specific configuration or settings for your app application. Okay, so uh, think about things like uh, database credentials, um, URLs for accessing third-party information or resources, and even something like an API key for small, uh, you know, personal applications and things like that. Okay, now the main benefit for, um, you know, using a .env file is to avoid hard coding those things like settings and uh, API keys, database credentials, things like that. So it's a way for you to avoid hard coding those environment specific things. So even if you were to publish your application to a web hosting service, things might be different on there compared to your local environment. Therefore, you know, put that data in a file instead. It makes your application supported on more or, you know, uh, uh, more environments than just your local development environment, okay? Now, uh, let's just say, for example, um, you've got a friend who wants to use your weather application. So, your weather application might need something like uh, which country or city to fetch weather for, as well as an API key to actually access the API to retrieve the weather information. So, those two things right there, the location and the API key, your friend might have a different API key and a different city, therefore store it in the .env file and your application will run there perfectly fine. So that is the main motivation behind uh, using a .env file. So when it comes to Node.js, how do you get started in using one? Well, right here, I've got a empty directory. So I'm gonna make a new Node.js project. I can say npm init dash y, and now we have a new Node.js project. So now I just wanna install the .env uh, package. Okay, so right here, I'll say npm i, then .env, just like that, and press enter. And of course, now it's gonna install this Node.js package. All right, so now in order to use, of course, the .env package, we're going to need to actually create a .env file. So let's make a new file here called .env and then inside here, I'm just going to store something like an API key. So going back to the weather example, I can say something like weather API key equal to then 000D32, just as an example. Okay, cool. So right here, we have this environmental variable stored inside my .env file. So now, how do I access this value in my Node.js application? Well, if I make a new index.js right here, and then at the very top, I can now require uh, .env, but I can actually do it in a, in a bit of a different way. So I can actually just say right here, require, just like normal, and then I can say .env, and then right after it, I can say .config. So right here, by calling .config, it's gonna read your .env file, okay? And then it's gonna make your data available in uh, uh, process.env. Oops, let me try and spell this correctly. There we go. So process.env is going to contain your environmental variable. So I can now say something like console.log, then I'll say process.env.weather API key. I can now run the application. I'll say node, then index.js. As we can see right here, we get a weather API key inside the console. All right, so that is basically how you're able to access uh, your environmental variables. Now, you may notice that when pulling down a repository from GitHub, um, something like that, you may notice that the uh, the code actually comes with something like a .env then .example. So if you encounter the .env.example, this right here is 
just trying to assist you with creating a .env file. So you're gonna want to essentially copy this example, then paste it, and then rename this to be .env, and then you're gonna wanna put your exact environmental you know, settings or configuration inside that one. So this is just simply meant to be like a, a bit like a template for you to then fill in your data for your specific environment. So um, that is uh, using environmental variables in Node.js. Thanks for watching guys. Um, if you like this video, drop a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.